I was we're getting out of here and came back in here had some bites but they were small you know three pounders which I mean they're fun to catch and they're you know they're just not tournament winning fish I mean even if you had a couple of eight pounders you can't weigh in three pounders on Clear Lake and expect to, to have a good tournament so I'm gonna run down the other side of the lake I haven't looked at it at all run down through there and kind of look uh, you know look see what the grass situation is and maybe fish some docks or I don't know just kind of look at it you know like I said it yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to find them out away from the bank and grass um, but so far you know it's it just the grass isn't set up right yet so I'm just gonna keep plugging away see what happens look at this fish it's gonna freaking eat oh my god look at that big one over there oh yeah Hold on. Dude, that was the big one. That's a different, that's a different fish. Watch this. Do we have a net? We have a net. The big one tried to eat it. The, the male was just chilling. Here she comes, here she comes. Now she's acting all freaking spooky. Chunker, punching dead fish. Where's he hunt? Oh, that fish. That male ate me on the first drop. The male did. Crazy. There's another bed. No fish on that one. God. Spooky. God dang. fish right there. A lot of freaking fish over here, dude. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought he was going to eat it right there. He is mad. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. You can catch that one if you want. Oh, he's a little turd. Like hanging on to it. Ah, another one. I think it twice, came off. This is the third time we finally hooked her. Very big, but it's still fun though. There's the only kind there that let me catch. Can't catch the big ones. Put it back real quick. Alright, well, <clears throat> I'm over it. There's uh, seeing lots of fish, you know, some leftover ones on beds, I think, and and there's probably still some fish gonna spawn here in the next week or so, but I haven't seen anything. I've seen two fish that I'd like to have in the tournament, but uh, other than that, I mean, you know, two to four pounders, it's not what you want. So I've been 
thinking about a decision. Should I go further on down, you know, or kind of save that for tomorrow and just spend my whole day down there? I think what I'm going to do is go, go uh, back up to the area where we started this morning and see if, you know, those bigger fish that are around that area, if they start biting, you know, a frog or flipping in those mats or something like that. And just because it warmed up a lot, I'm sure the water temperature is warmer. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that they might start, you know, getting right under those mats and getting really aggressive and, you know, might find the mother load. I mean, it's part of pre-fishing, you know, I hate to, if we go over there and don't get any bites or catch a couple small ones, don't get any big bites, you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. But if you go over there and start lighting them up, it could turn into a winning area. So that's what my plan is. I'm going to go back up there and check it out. Maybe change some colors on some things, see if that makes a difference too. So. Same size as this morning. Not a bad one, not a giant. But... Decent one on the coppers. I like it. Chunky, chunky. You know what happened to the tournament though? Too small? No. Yeah. You ever get her? Just kind of roll on it. Oh, that's a good one. That's the kind I need for the tournament. Now we're getting a little bit more closer to tournament size action. That's a nice one. Nice one. Interesting. Froggy. Oh my God. That's a big one. Absolutely choked it. <laughs> I switched colors, started throwing that Iobi frog. Freaking giant. Look at that frog. Freaking gone. Oh my goodness. Well, no more setting the hook on frogfish. That, that Iobi gets them, man. That's a pretty fish. That's a nice one. Well, we're gonna call it a day. It's only 6.30, but we're tired and hot. We've been out for three days. We're gonna go eat some food. I learned a lot today, you know, but I'm still not. If any weather comes through, the first thing to go is a top water bite, you know, and with all those good ones I had on the frog bite it, um, you know, if we get a cold front or something, that's not going to happen. So tomorrow I'm going to run around and, and kind of look um, for some similar type stuff, but also I'm, I'm going to try to get a swim bait bite or maybe even a, a flipping bite or, and. Uh, probably going to cruise down the lake a little bit in the lower end and look around and see if they're still in the major part of the spawn so it was a fun day we're both hot and tired though Corey had to drink two milkshakes in less than five minutes the milkshake challenge put both straws in at the same time So 
uh, I think his belly hurts. I got to take him in. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, oh. That's a nice one. Jared had that fish blow up and miss it. And I came back just with a punch bait. That's a Havoc Devil Spear, one ounce VMC tungsten, five aught hook. Came back and followed up and got that fish. That was a cool follow-up fish, man. Always have a follow-up bait rigged mm -hmm. for stuff like that.